happy sunday my angels happy sunday i hope everyone is having a blessed sunday i hope everyone is having a fantastic day i'm here once more i just want to let you know i will be collabing today um i'm going to be collabing with um bbw 420 latina j yes you guys she's a great youtuber um, I'm going to be collabing with her. We're going to be making guineitos en escabeche, which is called pickled green bananas. So yes, you guys, stay tuned for this collaboration. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, my angels, these are the ingredients I am going to be using for the guineitos en escabeche. I am going to be using some white vinegar, salt, powder beef bouillon you can use these like you can also use the ones that come like a little block you can use those I am going to be using um, the chicken gizzards I'm gonna be making three of them and and 15 green bananas that's what I'm gonna be using three packs and 15 bananas the pepper one pepper and one onion like I said and with that, I'm gonna make also white rice. So I have the rice right here. And yes, let's get to. Oh yes, the uh, lemon, I use it because I like to rinse my um, chicken gizzards after I put some lemon on them. I leave them there a little bit and then I wash them, I rinse them with water and that's how I clean them, okay? Okay much better much much better so now you're gonna put these in here okay. they're not frozen but a little tiny bit just a bit but not frozen and still work with them I haven't made this dish Wow, like it's been like a year. Very excited. Remember, you want to rinse these like very well, okay? Very well. Make sure you clean these good. some parts that you want to get rid of well I always do I don't like them and I'm gonna show you which parts I'm talking about as soon as I find all right The birds outside, they all looking for me since I always feed them. <laughs> I fed them this morning. It's already 1.58 in the afternoon. They're looking for more. Okay. Um, I like to feed them in the mornings better though because there's nobody wandering around. trying to look for the you see like this right here I always get rid of this right here that's very hard and you get rid of that you just take it out see it comes off you just peel this off like that see that that skin the hard skin I always get rid of it okay that's one of the things I get rid of but I'm looking for something else I don't see any here. I hate to find when I finish my my dish. I don't want to find none of that in there because I don't like it. All right. See, like there's more. You go, you peel it. You peel this. See? Skin. This one. You peel them all. You hear them? 
them over there. They're looking. All of them, all, not all of them have it, only some of them. But that little, the little piece is like little, um, how can I explain? I don't even know what they call them. I know what they look like, but I don't know what they call them. Okay. Okay, so, I don't find any. But if I do, I will show you. Just so you have an idea. So yes. See, and if you have like little parts like this that has like fat like that, you can always remove it if you like. You see? You can always remove anything you want that you don't like. The only thing I remove is this. The skin and that little thing I tell you, but I don't see none here. I guess these are pretty much clean. They take all that out. But I always look for that. I don't like it. Okay, so the skin, I only found three so far, and I don't see no more in here with the skin, so these are pretty good to rinse now. See, this has a little fat, and you don't like the fat, you just take it out, and that's it. So now, see how they look? Look at one right here. I saw it right in the camera. Okay, so now I'm putting my green bananas. I'm just doing some ahead first, and then I did a whole batch first. And now a few from this one. just want to show you how I cut them. Just to make it easier for you to peel them. See what I'm doing? Mash them right in the middle. And you put them in hot water, okay? So that's going to soften them up and it's going to be easier for you to peel them. Okay, here I already have the meat, the gizzards, the water with salt. Do not close your top the whole way. You don't want your stove to be ooh, very messy. And here I have water with salt also. This is going to be for the guineitos, which I'm about to start peeling right now. And I'm sorry I keep turning the thing off, but my camera is turned. Okay. Let me just uh, here I want to show you. I'm gonna show you how I do these. Okay, right here. Some people put some um turn this off already. Some people put some salt in the water. Just so it can make it softer. But you know, you can do it like this, or you can just put your hands under the water while you're doing this. But I'd rather do it like this because I don't like to be wasting too much water. Hot water is not good. You don't want to be wasting your hot water. So, but you can do it like that. It's easier, it peels even faster. But it's okay. It's no rush. With me, it's never a rush kitchen you do what you gotta do don't rush yourself see that peel down a little bit there and that's it there you go my first banana okay i'm just gonna put it there in the meantime okay let me just do another one and then i'm gonna be back with you guys be very careful with the knives they're very sneaky See how it comes out and you take the other side sometimes it breaks a little bit but that's okay no worries about that my angels go like that and like this like this and that's about it see that that's about it okay my angels you have the idea now so i'll be back with you guys okay i already did the onions you don't want to cut them too thick, so try to cut them as thin as you want. As thin as, as, thin as you can, okay, because it's much better. All right, I'm going to cut the pepper. Take the part out, the in the middle. 
Remove that. Little wings. I remove everything. Let's see if you can see. Trying for the. So you slice it. is kind of hard. Okay, it's okay. Okay, now since it's a big pepper, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it in half, okay? There you go. Cut it in half right there. So I have that already. So now this piece, do the same thing. Remove that vein. It's optional. Some people just leave it. I remove it because I just want to remove it. Okay. So now, now, you see it's kind of like a little bit greenish. That's why it's a little hard, but it's okay. It still does the trick. No worries, no worries. Still gonna be delicious. When you get the bananas for this uh, recipe, you gotta make sure they're very green, okay? If they're yellowish, don't get them. They get too moist, too soft, too fast, and it's gonna, like, it's not the same. You need to get them very green. Those are the ones that are recommended for this recipe. And that's you know cut. And that's it right there. So now I'll be back. Okay, there it is. I'm still waiting for the water to get warm. It's already pretty hot. And here's the bananas, which I ended up putting 13 instead of the whole 15. Well, actually there was 16, not 15 in there. I'm putting 13 in there. They're ready to jump in that water. Um, I was gonna say, yes, I, I was gonna add to this, uh, I was gonna let you know that I put a little bit of milk in the water, it's optional. I put a little water because the water maintains the, the bananas, you know, in a nice color. When you don't put the water, they get like darker. And I like my bananas looking pretty. So I'm gonna put them in there. And some people cut them. I don't cut my bananas. I cut them after they're already done. That's when I take care of them. And cut them up. If you see little bits of green, just remove it. It's no problem. Just, you see how they get kind of dark? And I put them in cold water until the water got warm. But it's okay. That's why I added a little bit of milk. So they can be okay in there. They should be fine. So now you let that you let that boil there for a while. I can tell you exactly because, like you already know, I don't measure and I don't really look at time. But right now it's gonna be three, as you can see. The meat you have to let the meat get tender. Do not remove this meat for a while. Okay. See how it's looking already? Do not remove it. I have it on medium. Don't put it all the way high because it's gonna make a big mess in your stove. And plus, if you leave it in, in medium at least, it's gonna tender it more because you're giving it time for it to tender, okay? So yes, I'll be back, my angels. My angels. I'm gonna have, while that's cooking, I'm gonna have a piece of watermelon. <laughs> it's pretty hot in here. When I make things like that that take long, well, it gets hot. But I have my window open and I have my um, fan on, so I'm okay. 
Oh yes, my Amazons are coming here. And um, to inform you guys that uh, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. Hmm. Very soon. Well, I say very soon because I'm almost in 2K, right? Yay! <laughs> well, that's what I'm planning to do. Giveaway. Mm. Give my angels to serve it. I want to do a nice giveaway. And if you guys, whoever wants to be in my giveaway, it's just going to be US, of course. You know that already. Mm. Let me know in the comments. So I can start writing the names down. Mm -hmm. Watermelon is so refreshing. Mm -hmm. It's so good. delicious ah. <laughs> don't forget this is a collab with Latina J go check her out she's almost on 1000 she's like 800 something now and um, yes go check her out she does videos every single day, not like me. <laughs> I'm not consistent, but I try. I do my best. I try to bring the best videos I can to you guys. You know, I try my best. Mm. But sometimes you're busy, you're doing other stuff, but I do check you out. I do go check my angels out. I, you know, I comment as much as I can. Sometimes I do miss some of you guys because what happens is sometimes when you don't see I, i'm guessing that happens to everyone when you don't see each other like if somebody don't come they don't come comment to me i forget like you know i have so many people that i follow so many people i'm subscribed to and i wish i can go comment on everybody but if sometimes you don't see some people you you forget me oh my god look you know and you go to their channel but you know i'm sure that happens to everyone because so many people that you subscribe to i mean a lot of people subscribe to i'm telling you when i'm telling you i subscribe to a lot of people i'm subscribed to a lot of people i love to visit all my angels watch the videos comment everything i have to do so yes <laughs> mm. Mm. I wanted to also mention that OMAD it was pretty good at the beginning but then it, it got to me it was a fail I'm sorry my angels but the first time was so much easier but now it's like I guess with everything going on probably that too I, I just don't know but I'm not giving up. I'm starting this new diet now, which uh, I have faith in God. It's going to work. And yes, when you keep seeing me and seeing me getting skinnier and slimmer, you're going to be like, oh, what is she doing? Then you know it's the diet that I'm starting tomorrow. Mmm. <laughs> That's why I'm making my meals today. I'm making this and probably after I'm gonna make the shrimp fried rice. Yay! Mm. I have another video. Probably tomorrow I wanna show you guys everything I got for this plan, for this new diet that I'm gonna do. Well, let's call it a, a different way of eating, right? Diet. I don't really like that word.
that word make, makes me think of um starvation no you should be able to eat not starve yourself and I'm going to show you guys everything that I got for that that'll be a video for you for tomorrow hmm. or maybe in two days because what happens is when I do a video you know I like to give it time for people to watch it you know what I mean I feel like if you do a video like this collab and then I put another video right behind it like it's you know let's give it time but that's another reason I don't do videos like constantly like one on one top of the other but it's okay everybody it's different you do whatever you want to do it's your channel don't let nobody tell you what to do mmm mmm Mm -mm. <laughs> it's so good. This is so good, my angel. It's so refreshing. Uh oh. Mm -mm. Mm. It's very juicy. Mm hmm. <laughs> Look at the water. This is how they're looking. I'll leave them on uh, 10 more minutes and I'm going to take them out. And sorry about that. It's the meat. Okay. Pretty much done. But I'm gonna leave them. Like I said, I like them tender. I don't like them hard. So I'm gonna leave them another 20 minutes at least. At least, we'll see. Okay. So if it's not 20 minutes, I'll leave them till four. As long as they're tender and how I like them, then I'm gonna take them out. <laughs> okay, my angels. It's 3:48. It's not even four o'clock yet, and the meat, the gizzards are good to go. They're already good. This is the texture I like. They're soft, they're tender, but not too, too, too soft. They're just right. So I'm gonna be taking them out now. I already took out the bananas. So I'm gonna put everything together and then I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, so here we have the bananas. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the bananas and you're gonna cut them just like this, okay? Good enough. I'm going to cut them there. See, they're soft, but not too, too soft. Start cutting the meat, the gizzards. Cut them like, a, like this. It's good enough, that's small. I 
sure you want to have everything glued together. Yeah, okay, my angels, everything's going to go in together now. So I'm going to be putting a cup of oil. medium high. I'm going to be putting a cup of white vinegar. Same amount as the oil. And they're together. Okay. We're going to season this I have here, I'm going to be making the white rice. Mix all that up. gets hot okay now we're going to throw in there you're going to put in there your onions and peppers the bouillon because you didn't get to see me because I have forgot so I put it in there that's why you see the little color see but now everything got nice and soft so now a couple of hours
those juices. The reason I always keep a little bit of the water from the meat on the side, like I said before, in case it's kind of dry and you like it more liquidy, you take the water and you put a little bit. Okay. That's the reason I always keep a little bit on the side. This is guineito and a cabeche. Okay, my angels, this is my presentation of guineitos and a cabeche, which is pickled green bananas. This is the collab with BBW420 Latina J Vlogs. Go check her out, my angels. I hope you enjoy my collab with her. I'll see you in my next one, my angels. Be good, be safe, and be blessed. Love you as always. Bye. Bye. <laughs> this is my plate. White rice. This goes better with white rice. As that's what I think. That's my opinion. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Smells so good, so just how I was wanting them to come out. Mm. Mm -hmm. and that's the perfect texture. Mm -hmm. and the dessert, good texture also. Not soft, not hard. Good. I hope you like this Latina J. I can't wait to go click in your channel and see the collab with me. I can't wait to see your cabeche. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's like coke. Forget what I mentioned before I'm about to give away when I reach my 2k. Mm. Leave the names in the comments whoever wants to participate in my giveaway so I can start writing them in my notebook. This is soap in my angles. Mmm. The onion. Mm-mm. Explosion. My hubby's on his second plate. Mmm. <laughs> the olives. This is a great thing, too. Everything you add to it, it gives it a great taste. So my angel, I think this video is going to be long enough. So thank you for watching my angels. Thank you always for supporting me. Thank you so, so much. God bless you all. And I mean that from my heart. But always be good. Be safe. Be blessed, my angels. Be blessed. We'll see you in my next, my angels. Bye.